Jared, they call it an unprecedented increase in youth violence across Ohio. And as the numbers go up, they say combating it is about taking a community approach. Director of the Ohio Department of Public Safety, Andy Wilson, tells me it's a small group of kids across the state who are engaging in criminal activity that often involves guns. He says there's no single factor that will solve the issue, so I asked whether they're taking any new steps to curb the problem. Wilson tells me right now they're expanding their data-driven approach to identify areas of high violent crime and youth crime to really focus on both intervention that's preventative and on getting criminals off the street. The state did set aside $175 million of American Rescue Plan funds to go toward violent crime reduction. Wilson says a majority of that money was spent on law enforcement efforts, so local departments could invest in technology and grants to deal with violent crime issues. He says $20 million of those dollars went to community-based violent crime intervention, but tells me there's still a lot of work to be done. How patient should Ohioans be before they start seeing results? You ask how patient. Uh, people should be look if, if if people are dying in your neighborhood you need to demand that that the courts that the the municipality that the law enforcement agency that polices your streets you need to demand that they get in there and make your streets safe I also asked Governor Mike DeWine about youth violence increasing across the state. Hear how he responds coming up on NBC4 at 5:30. Local for you at the State House I'm Natalie Fami NBC4.